All right, guys, so I came across this very creepy and disturbing video of left-wing activists at ASU, Arizona State University, following Miss Kirsten Simmer, who is currently, along with Joe Manchin, holding up the $3.5 trillion uh, social spending package from the Biden administration. There are students at ASU following her uh, into the bathroom in order to lecture her while she's... <laughs> using the bathroom i guess uh, on why she should pass biden's 3.5 trillion dollar social plan right now in all transparency i'm gonna play the video however i'm going to cut the part when she actually gets into the bathroom and the reason why is just out of respect for miss kirsten cinema's privacy right it's already bad enough that there's a video on the internet of her uh basically being followed and harassed into the bathroom and the video actually shows them her in the bathroom stall right um it is already enough to have that out there so i'm not going to contribute to it so i'm going to cut it there i'm going to leave the audio going so you guys can hear what they're lecturing her about and then when she's on the way out i'm going to uh play the video again that way um you guys can kind of get full context of what's going on here so without further ado <laughs> roll the clip okay i'll be back Today we want to talk to you real quick. Can we talk to you real quick? Hi, actually, I am heading out. But um, right now is a real moment that our people need in order for us to be able to talk about what's really happening. We need a Build Back Better plan right now. We, we knocked on the door. We need solutions. The Build Back Better plan we have the solutions that we need. We knocked on doors for you to get you elected. And just how we got you elected, we can get you out of office if you don't support what you promised us. We need seven million citizenship for seven million. We need the Build Back Better plan right now. My name is Blanca. I was brought here to the United States when I was three years old. And in 2010, my grandparents both got deported because of SB 1070. And I'm here because I definitely believe that we need a pathway to citizenship. My grandfather passed away two weeks ago, and I was not able to go to Mexico and visit him because there is no pathway to citizenship. And if we have the opportunity to pass it right now, then we need to do it because there's millions of undocumented people just like me who share the same story or even worse things that happen to them because of SB 1070 and because of anti-immigrant legislation. And this is the opportunity to pass it right now and we need you to, we need to hold you accountable to what you told us, what you promised us that you were going to pass when we knocked on doors for you. It's not right. I'm a survivor. I'm a survivor of human trafficking and it's because of the lack of worker protections that we don't have in the gig economy. I need you to stand by workers, lots of people who are like me, who became homeless and they just had to come up. The ability to make sense to make Will you support the Build Back Better plan so that we can have justice and, and solutions that we need for immigration, labor, climate change? Build Back Better, 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 Bro, <coughs> bro, I'm dead, bro. I'm dead, bro. <coughs> For real, 
I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dying, bro. I'm dying. First of all, like I said, um, I, I'm, I'm sorry, guys. That I, I cut that clip just because, you know, I don't know if that's even legal, right? Following somebody into the bathroom and recording them while they are using the bathroom. Um, <laughs> you know, I do got questions about exactly what she was doing, <laughs> you know, whether it was number one or number two, but regardless, <laughs> right? It's a shame that you can't even, uh, take a dump potentially, right? <laughs> That's what she probably was doing. You can't even take a dump without being lectured to by far leftists on immigration, right? Immigration and passing this build back better plan. And what's funny is that I believe that um, the parliamentarian actually made the Democrats cut out their amnesty measures in the Build Back Better plan, right? I, I believe um, that's not actually in there anymore. Now, I could be wrong about that, but I, I feel like I definitely did a story about it, and, and I'm pretty sure they definitely cut that out of there. So what you're begging for may not actually be in the bill. Now, also, I got questions about something else. It sounded to me like there was a very masculine voice that was with them that uh may have been in the bathroom as well okay now i couldn't tell from the actual video because um that person was never shown but i can tell that there was a dude there right or at least somebody that sounded like a dude now i'm not sure if this was a, a transgender person or what but to me it, it seems like you, you have you know a group of creepy annoying students following a woman into a bathroom and a male could have been following them into the bathroom as well right and people are acting like this is normal stuff okay they're acting like this is normal stuff now i, I believe this is on asu's campus okay now we did a video about asu uh last week and the crazy stuff going on on campus right so i'm not surprised to see this at all i i just think that it's ridiculous and it's too far right you should never be harassing people like this right even politicians don't get me wrong you should definitely um you know nag your politicians you should definitely be on them about the policies that you believe in for sure but following somebody into a bathroom and recording them while they're you know using a bathroom in a private moment like that it's too far man it's way too far right and then one of these um students were telling a story about immigration right talking about how uh her parents got deported or something like that <laughs> and i'm like bro it's not her fault or anybody's fault that your parents came over here illegally right when they came over here illegally um hey they took the chance knowing that they didn't follow the rules that they was gonna get deported and i'm sorry that's what happened to them right you can't blame anybody else for that you better be glad that you still here right that you still in the country i mean shoot you ought to be deported just for the stunt that you pulled <laughs> deport you just based off that <laughs> <coughs> yep Deport her. What's her name? Blanco? We got to get you out of here. You got. You can't follow the rules. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> so don't try to push that guilt on somebody else. Right? Don't try to push that guilt on them. And, you know, again, it, it's just one of those things, man, that you, you just see. And it, and it just shows you how crazy the left has become. How far out they've now become where... They're following politicians into the bathroom, okay? I mean, there was just a video that came out last week of them harassing Joe Manchin on his boat, right? On his boat yacht, on his yacht boat, right? Apparently, he lives in that boat in D.C., which, honestly, is really smart to avoid paying uh, the high rent uh, that, you know, you occur, you know, living in D.C., but they, they're harassing the man in his boat, okay? It's kind of crazy, they are so gun ho about this stuff. And I think one of the worst parts about this is that you have people on Twitter that are condoning the behavior. That's like, oh no, this is what you should be doing, right? Following women into the bathroom. That is what you should be doing. Harassing people while they're, you know, taking a dump, <laughs> harassing them. That's what you should be doing. They're condoning this type of behavior. It's crazy. But yeah, they tell you the only extremists in this country are, are people on the right, right? Only people on the right are extremists. These far leftists, these crazy far leftists following uh, women into the bathroom. Don't worry about those people. Don't worry about those people. Guys, can you imagine if this happened on January 6th, right? If one of those people had followed a politician into the bathroom, right? They would have said it was an attempted assassination, right? That's what they would have called it. They would have called it an assassination attempt right? <laughs> They're going to call this just, these are angry students expressing their frustration, right? <laughs> That's what they're going to call this.
They're not calling it harassment, okay? They're not calling it an invasion of personal privacy. And just say, oh, they're just angry students. Just angry students expressing their frustration, right? I wonder is AOC going to call this out, right? Is AOC going to say anything about this, right? Is AOC going to say anything about the harassment that's being shown towards this woman, right? Is she going to say anything about that? Miss pro-woman, right, or pregnant people, <laughs> AOC, right, Miss Feminist, is she going to say anything about this at all? I highly doubt it. She ain't going to say nothing about this traumatic experience, right, since AOC knows trauma so well, right, the trauma that women experience. This right here seemed like a traumatic experience for somebody like Kirsten Cinema. But, you know, this is the type of behavior that, in my opinion, I, I think these students should be expelled for. I really do, right? I, I don't think you should be recording a video uh, of somebody in, in a public restroom. I, I, I think that's a little bit too far. And I'm not sure whether or not it's actually illegal or not, but it's definitely one of those things they should be punished for, for sure. And this type of behavior should not be condoned on campus. These these colleges are giving these students way too much leeway for so-called activism. And it's to the point now where, you know, they basically have a free pass to harass women in restrooms and to be overtly racist and to kick people out of spaces that they deem to be multicultural centers right it's crazy it's absolutely nuts so i'm pretty sure uh this is not gonna make kirsten cinema change her mind uh she's polling pretty well in arizona i was looking at some polls um uh, you know <laughs> some of them she had over 50 percent uh approval okay so i'm not sure she's gonna change her mind i'm not sure if this stunt is going to change anything but hey it is what it is let me know what you guys think. <laughs> Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Most importantly, share a black conservative perspective. Peace.